I said it on Friday on Twitter, and I'll say it again today. Dina Lohan, you're a dick. If I ever had any doubts about this, well, Friday's Today Show interview would have erased those. But I never had any doubts. You probably don't remember me, Dina, but we've met before. We were all shopping together in the same place, you and little tiny Lindsay and me and WWJD and BFF Jen. It was right after The Parent Trap came out. And, oh my God, Lindsay was the most beautiful child I think I've ever seen in my entire life. And I, I mean, she was just, she was stunning. It was amazing. It stopped us all in our tracks. And then she wanted something. And I can't remember what it was, but it was like ridiculous and ridiculous expensive. And you didn't want to buy it for her. And I will never forget this because she turned to you and she said, I make the money, buy it. And you did. And WWJD and BFF Jen and I all turned to each other and we went, oh, no, bad. And sadly, everything has pretty much turned out exactly the way we predicted later that evening. I know that you think that the judge overreacted on this sentence and everything, but I, for one, and apparently a great deal of America, I'm saying, hallelujah, let's do something to save this kid. Something major has got to be done to save Lindsay because newsflash, your kid is in trouble. Like, a lot of trouble. And I get it. I was a train wreck myself. And God only knows if I'd had unlimited resources and funds and nobody to say no to me because everybody was on my payroll God only knows what kind of trouble I would have ended up in. I probably might have ended up in jail, like Lindsay. But you're her mom, and you've got to stop being her friend. You've got to stop being her shopping partner, and you've got to be her mom. Also, newsflash. I don't know if you know how our judicial system works, but you kept saying over and over again that the judge is fired because she went against the, DAA, the DA's recommendations. Judge? DA. The judge actually gets to judge. It's kind of in the title. <sighs> I get it. I, I know it's rough. I know, I know it's hard and I can't imagine how hard it is for you to watch your kid go through this stuff, but you've got to step up. You've got to get off the Today Show. Nobody cares that your mom was on radio soap operas. Nobody cares that you were a performer for Lindsay. Nobody cares that you don't know what a stage mom is. Clue, you do. You are one. You've got to get your priorities straight. You need to take a good, hard look in the mirror and stop thinking about publicity, stop thinking about getting your kids on reality shows, producing movies with them in, whatever it is. You've got to batten down the hatches. It's great that you're getting Lindsay out of L.A. New York is a fabulous place to take her because there's certainly no drugs or partying there. So I really, really want to talk to you like a mom. It's easy to make a joke out of you. It's easy to snark about you. Trust me, it's easy. But you're a mom. I'm a mom. And there but for the grace of God go I, right? So I really, really, really hope that you guys get through this. Take a good, long, hard look in the mirror. Also think about less Botox and the fact that Snooki is not a desirable color to be. Many blessings upon you guys. Good luck. You're going to need it.